Hey, how's it going guys? This is Jack and it's been a while since I've done any kind of re uh, reaction video or recording or anything here on the channel. So I'm working with some new software, so bear with me. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't know a lot about video editing, but I, I kind of figured out some new software on my computer. So hopefully this goes through. So fingers crossed. Today we are going to uh, do my reaction video to the latest trailer for the, uh, for Justice League, the Zack Snyder cut. Now, I, I, I've i been trying to stay away from social media all day. I don't know necessarily what to expect. I imagine we'll see a bunch of footage of, you know, Darkseid and the Joker and all, all the other characters that are on here. I know there's going to be a lot of new stuff in this Zack Snyder version of, of Justice League. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I am a huge DC fan. I, uh, you know, I, I, I I really love these movies, and, uh, and you know, I love the Marvel movies too, don't get me wrong, but I'm a big, big DC fan, and I really want these movies to be good. Um, they don't have to be the best movies you've ever seen in your life, I just I just want them to be good and tell a good story, and you know, for the most part, the DCEU hasn't really, uh, really let me down too much. You know, there have been a couple of movies I've liked more than others, but on the whole, you know, I'm a fan, so I want to see how this um, how this new, uh, new Zack Snyder cut turns out, what it's going to lead to for future movies, I don't know. But, uh, but I'm curious to see how it goes. So let's, uh, let's go right ahead and do, uh, do the reaction to the new, the latest trailer for, uh, for Justice League, the Snyder cut, or Zack Snyder's Justice League. However they're billing it, it's going to be on HBO Max. I'll be watching, and uh, let's, let's see, let's get into it. Let's see what it is. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, what is happening here? The bell's been rung. Bell has been rung. Out in the dark, among the stars. The god is dead. Demiscira? I had a dream. Almost like a premonition. We're getting more of the nightmare stuff, aren't we? I think there's an attack coming. My lord, this one will fall. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. Cyborg's got some new tech. If you can't bring down the charging bull and don't wave the red cape at it, you were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, Iris, find out what that reason is. You see the black suit. That about he said the age of heroes will never come again. It will. What's he doing with that black suit? Has to. We live in a society where honor. It's a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. What? What's going on there? Alright, so as you guys can see, there's a lot going on in that trailer. A lot of different scenes flashing back and forth. Uh, and that was just my first viewing. So, I'm going to go ahead and watch that one more time. Watch it back, hopefully... Uh, give a little more insight there. Hopefully it helps for whatever that's worth. And uh, yeah, let's check that out one more time. All right, just going through one more time. Yeah, something's happening to Superman. I don't know if he's... That was when he was killed or if we're bringing it back to life. The bells. That's pretty wild looking. Getting a call back to Batman vs. Superman with uh, with Lex Luthor. Doing this old ding, 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 ding spiel. So, uh, is that Hippolyta in... The God is dead. 
Yeah, that's definitely Themyscira getting destroyed. I had a dream. Almost like a premonition. All right, so they're leaning really heavily into the uh, the nightmare scene from Batman vs Superman, where it looked like Darkseid destroyed the world. They're really going to explore that quite a bit, or at least explain what that was all about. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. Looks like Cyborg got a new gun, huh? If you can't bring down the charging bull and don't wave the red cape at it. New line from Alfred. We were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your yeah, life. Definitely Iris. Barry rescuing Iris. That's that's pretty cool. What that is. What's the deal with the black suit? That mean he's like being mind controlled or just another outfit he's got? You know, makes sense he'd have more than one super suit. Like why not? He said the age of heroes would never come again. Who's he lasering in that? It has to. And of course, we got the big Joker scene, the big reveal. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. I thought he was going to say Bruce for a second there. They wanted to go all in with that. Yeah, man. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, there you go. The uh, the latest trailer for the Snyder Cut. I uh, I can't wait for March 18th. It's uh, I'm curious to see what they're doing with this. I I mean, the trailer didn't reveal too much, which is nice. It you know showed a couple new things, some of which I sort of expected. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to avoid some of the some of the spoilers, quote unquote, on social media. Like I knew that the Joker thing was coming. I'd seen some pictures of Jared Leto back at back as Joker. I'm glad they brought him back. You know, I, I don't know if that stuff was shot like recently. I, I know they spent like 70 million for new footage and effects for this Snyder cut. So good on Zack Snyder that he's getting to, you know, fulfill or at least realize his mission, his vision, I should say. And um, yeah, I, I'm curious to see what they do with this thing. This movie's going to be four hours long. I thought they were going to break it up in one hour segments in, on HBO Max, but they said, nope. Just putting out a four-hour movie. So, either way, man, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be checking this thing out. I'm I'm excited for it. The Snyder Cut. I, like I said, I don't know what this is gonna mean for like DC movies going forward. If this is gonna like rewrite um, what happened in the original Justice League movie, or, or like rewrite the canon. I I remember seeing in like an earlier trailer, it looked like Cyborg's father was being disintegrated. You know, Doctor Stone. I don't know if this means he's dead because. In the, in the theatrical cut of Justice League, he was alive at the end of it. So, I mean, little things like that. Like, I don't know what, what is going to be canon, what isn't going to be. And they're really going for it with the, the nightmare, like, possible future sequence, which, I you know, looked cool in Batman vs. Superman, but I wasn't a huge fan of it just because it kind of came out of nowhere. And it's just like, okay, is this, is this a dream? Is it really happening? And it never really paid off, you know, in the uh, theatrical uh, version of Justice League, which I was kind of fine with because, you know, I didn't really care for it too much either way. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll get more of an explanation about what what that was all about, what this is, if that's going to be the future or just a possible future. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Zack Snyder's, he, he, he's going in hard with it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But thank you guys for uh, for watching, for watching my reaction video. And uh, hopefully you like it. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all my videos and my podcasts. And I'm sure I will be doing a, a reaction podcast to the movie when it comes out with some of my friends. So thanks for listening. Uh, or or I, I should say thanks for watching. I'm so used to saying thanks for listening. This is uh, the Phoenix Report. I am Jack Connor. We'll see you later. Bye.